Right, okay, so you catch me. You catch me just off to go and get my nice new naked sports bike. Yep, not an adventurer, a sports bike. I'm um, I'm sticking with something which has got a little bit more power. I'm swapping over my fire blade today, which is nice. So um, yeah, I was due to go on Thursday. It was blowing a gale, so I asked to move to Saturday morning as the sun it showed sunshine. It did. It showed sunshine on uh, on Saturday morning, and Friday was just uh, due to rain mid afternoon on Friday, which it didn't do. But I tell you what, it did last night. It bloody snowed. It snowed. Dad, so I'm off. I'm off on a completely unsuitable bike to um, pick up another unsuitable bike on a really, really, really frosty day. Look, my car's frozen up. No, I've got snow on the car. I'm going on a sports bike. Stupid, stupid, stupid. It's got to be done, though. It's got to be done. Well, hi, everyone. So this, this is my Honda Fireblade uh, 2018. Oh, what a beautiful piece of kit it is. Um, yeah, so I bought this bike about two years ago. Um, do you know what? I had a uh, Daytona 675 before that. I had a slight off, which, um, yeah, sort of destroyed the bike and uh, bounced me off down the road. So I didn't ride for a little bit, and eventually I thought, I've got to get back to it. I've got to get back to riding. Um, I've only been riding, what, 10, 12 years now? Um, and I just I had, to, I had to have some super sports bike. It had to be done. Um, yeah, and I've loved it. For the last two years, it's been absolutely fantastic. Now, I know that lots and lots of people turn around and say, well, you know, you don't need a super sports bike. It's far too much for the road. Well, to be honest with you, most of my cars are too much for the road if you look at the speed limit. Um, in fact, the only car I've got, I think, which would be relevant for the road is the one that's under the cover there, which is um, as old as me. So it's almost 52 years old. That car, that car, well, that's probably about right for the roads. Um, so having a bike that's not right for the roads is, or you can't use the full performance. Yeah, of course you can't. You can't use the full performance of most cars. It's about, oh, it's more, it's more than that. It's about having a super sports bike. And I know Al from 44 Teeth will turn around and say it's willy waggling. Well, yeah, do you know what? I haven't got great big willies. So in which case I'm waggling it through my bike. Um, I say I haven't got a great big willy. I am a bit of a cock, apparently. So maybe I have a big willy. I don't know. Anyway, that's all by the by. You don't need to know that stuff. So uh, yeah, I um, yeah yeah I I bought a super sports bike, and I would advise anybody who wants one not to listen to the rhetoric which says don't get a super sports bike. It's too much for the road. It will be what it is because you'll ride it in the way that you think is suitable for the road. Um, yeah, Mark, I keep looking at. I keep looking at it because it's beautiful. Anyway, having said all of that, I'm selling it. My bike goes back today. It's off to uh, Laguna in uh, Maidstone. I know lots of people have different experiences of Laguna and Maidstone. Mine have always been positive. I bought my Kawasaki ER6 N from them. Um, and uh, I think I also bought my Daytona. No, I didn't buy my Daytona from them. I bought it from somewhere else. Um, yeah, so I'm picking up today, I am picking up a Triumph Street Triple uh, RS, which I'm hoping will give me, uh, as a 52 year old man almost, uh, a little bit more of an upright riding position. It's not particularly cramped on the fire blade. I've done quite long trips. So I've uh, obviously run down to, I say run down to the coast, down to Devon and back as, uh, as a bit of a bike journey as opposed to a, a proper tour. But you know what? No problem. Comfort. Yeah, the fire blade is really comfortable. Yes, you fold it up. Yes, it's a super sports bike, but that seat, that big love heart type seat is yummy and comfy and nice. Anywho, anyhow, anyhow, that's me. That is me. I'm gonna say goodbye to my bike. Right, here we are, we are at Triumph, and I'm, I'm with the wonderful Jack. Hi Jack. Hello. All right, so this is unveiling, so unveil bikes. Look, I've got, I've got balloons. I've got balloons and, and a bike. So uh, Jack has just said he's going to unveil, so we're going to do this now. Yeah, ready yeah. for the big moment? Yeah, it's fantastic. Right. I think it was your bike put under here anyway. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, yeah. There we go. It is a thing of beauty. Oh, yes, I'm going to stop video. I'm stopping video now. This is very exciting. <laughs> Right, okay, so back, I'm back, I'm back. Uh, so bike changeover done, whoop, whoop. Uh, so unveiling from uh, Laguna, which is great. And here we are, we are back. 
Uh, so a bit of a change, a little bit of a change. Yeah, nice naked. I will give you, I will give you a rundown on uh, on the Triumph. Uh, a street Triple RS when, when, as and when I get a proper ride on it. But uh, we've done, we, we have done 100 miles already today. Um, so just another 500 and goes back in for uh, its first service. Again, I keep looking at it because I actually think that's quite a cool bike. Tiny, tiny compared to the, uh, uh, to the Fireblade. Um, yeah. Yeah, just looks looks much smaller. Uh, feels about the same size when you're on it. The fire blade pretty pretty small, pretty light. Um, this this little beauty's dry weight is um, is about what 165 kilograms. So wait, I've no idea what it is wet, but still less than uh, the fire blade was about 200 uh, 200 kilograms wet. Um, yeah, so we'll uh, yeah we'll see how we go with this over the next few weeks and keep you updated. Whoop whoop.